Look who decided to show up. I guess the legends are true. You do exist. Could you do me a huge favor and show up even later next time? That'd be sweet. All right, look. If you want this gig, you gotta listen to directions. We both know I'm doing you a solid by letting you manage my girls. I mean, let's keep it 100 here. This is the closest you're getting to female interaction right now. That should be payment enough. And it will be, since that's the only payment you're getting. Let's not waste any more time. I'll start you out with one of our fresh prospects. Which one of these girls catches your eye? Good call. That's kind of who I was thinking too, but I'd say that no matter who you picked. Now that we've recruited her, we have to employ her. Otherwise, it's like, what was the point? It's pretty easy though. I'll show ya. Break open the girls section for me, will ya? All you gotta do to employ her is drag her from the girls section to the open position on the studio bar to the right. What did I say? Easy, right? Why don't we give our new employee a try? Let's have her do a quick cam show. Drag her from the studio bar to the building in the southwest corner of the city. That's the cam studio. Sweet! The cash she earns from camming gets deposited at the studio, so you have to pull it out if you want to spend it. To collect her earnings, you gotta click up on that building. Go ahead, you do the work. I'll watch. Five dollars? <laughs> Clearly this girl is new to camming. I mean, look, it's a start, I guess. But if we're gonna make it in this industry, we need fans. You know, regulars. Desperate dudes with disposable income. We'll have to release some dirty photo sets for free. I don't like free, but we need the exposure. Let's have a legit shoot done. Drag her over to the photo studio, okay? Similar to cam shows, we have to collect the new fans she attracted. So, do that. All right, so here's the deal with fans. Each new fan we get has a preference. Everybody has their kink, their fetish. I'm sure I don't need to explain what a fetish is to a sick freak like you, but it's important to go over anyway. I'll show you what I mean. Crack open the fan section real quick. Here you can see how many fans we have broken down by fetish. Looks like she had a small following before we hired her. Fans of a particular fetish will only watch girls who can satisfy that desire. People are picky about their porn like that. So if you had a bunch of dudes who were into black chicks, that's not going to help an Asian girl at all. You get it? When you send a girl to do a photo shoot, she's only going to interest new fans who match one of her fetishes. You can always see which fetishes a girl satisfies by checking her profile. I'll show you. Click her face on the studio bar. See? Her fetishes are listed right here. Each girl will naturally support a couple by default. Her current fan count, which is based on her fetishes, is down here. The more fans she has, the more money she'll earn Cami. Let's have our girl do another cam show. Only this time, I'm gonna show you a special technique I call finger blasting. If you click on a building while a girl is there, it'll rush the activity so it's completed faster. It's pretty useful. We'll kick off a show as normal. Drop her off at the camp studio for a hot minute. Now click the shit out of that building. I'll keep the clock for Look at that. That's some damn fun clicking. You can also click and hold if you want. Let's give that a try. Collect the cash from the camp. So far, so good. But we're not going to make that fuck you money with only one girl to show off. There's a model agency in town that's bound to be ripe with hotties looking to make a quick buck. If you send one of our girls in there undercover to shill our studio, I'm sure she can line up some solid prospects. It's better than you going in there and creeping them out. Not... Oh, and we ain't employing shit unless we open up a new position. We gotta invest in growing the business, you know? Here, why don't you pull up the invest section and I'll show you. There are a lot of aspects of business you can invest in here to expand operations, improve functions, and maximize revenue. In order to employ a second girl, we need to invest in staffing, which we just happen to be able to afford. Imagine that. I'm too important to click things, so go ahead and invest in staffing for me, will ya? Alright, moving up in the world. Now when you were 
recruit a new girl, just drag her to this open position to employ her. And there you have it! Those are most of the basics of running a cam girl operation. But don't forget, you work for me. And I expect results. I want to see them fast, too. I'm not getting any younger. I'll give you three weeks to get as many new fans as possible. That's 21 days. Anybody can do that. The more fans, the better. There are some dope-ass dick trophies in it for you, too. I made them myself. So remember, 21 days. The clock is ticking, so don't be dicking around on me. I want that big money, boy. I highly recommend starting out by recruiting and employing more girls, because one or two ain't gonna cut it. Now get back to work. I'll ch Sure thing. Oh, shit. I forgot something. We're not running off slave labor here. We do have to pay these lovely ladies. I'll show you how we do payroll. Do me a favor and open up the books real quick. The payroll section shows a list of employed girls, what their current hourly rates are, and what we owe them. If we have the cash on hand, you can process the payroll at any time by clicking this pay button. But be careful because the payroll will automatically process every night at midnight, even if we can't afford it. So I'm just saying, keep an eye on that. The last thing I need right now is you knocking us into debt. Oh, and pro tip, don't forget to invest in inventory. Just trust me, it's not my first time around the block. to recruit, there are a couple things to keep in mind. The music note represents her talent level. The higher her talent level is, the more money she earns per fan while camming. The little bow represents her style level. The higher her style level is, the more fans she will attract with photo shoots. But higher talent and style levels do come at a cost as she will usually demand a higher hourly rate. So, you better be sure we can afford to take her on board before you go off hiring a total babe. If you want more details, you can hover over the music note and little bow icons. Last thing, this fan count here is how many of our existing fans would be interested in her, based on her fetishes. Kinky. Let's make some money. Okie dokie. But of course. All done. As requested. <laughs> As you wish. Sure thing. Anything else? Let's please. My pleasure. Leave it to me. That it then. All done. <laughs> Okie dokie. As you wish. Anything else? Next, please. <laughs> but of course. Leave it to me. Then. That's that. <laughs> but of course. Sure thing. All done. As requested. <laughs> My pleasure. Okie dokie. Shop carries all kinds of messed up shit. 
sex toys, drugs, and some weird-ass, random-ass stuff. When you get a new accessory, it'll be chilling right here. This is our accessory storage area. From here, you can drag an accessory onto any currently employed girl on the studio bar. You can see which accessories the girl has at any time by checking out her profile. Accessories do all kinds of crazy shit. Each one has a unique effect, and they can be insanely useful. I like it. over here to the fashion boutique, she'll earn style points by shopping. When you collect the points she earns, her talent or style level will go up. Respect. Just remember, the higher a girl's talent and style level are, the higher her hourly rate will be. I'm getting the feeling that one of our girls is starting to get kind of stressed out. That's gonna be a problem. Each time a girl does an activity, it stresses her out a bit. The amount of stress is based on how much time the activity takes. If a girl reaches 100% stress, that's it. She won't do anything until she chills the fuck out. Fortunately, there's a relaxing day spa in town. You can drop a girl off here at any time and her stress will melt away. The more stressed out she is, the longer she'll spend at the spa. She'll always leave stress-free though. Reporting in. stressed out from doing activities. But if you run out of cigs or drinks, she's going to start to get real stressed out. Real. So if it looks like we're running low, you need to have somebody run to the store and stock up. This is the liquor store. Drop someone off here to have her pick up more drinks. And this is the corner store. This is where we can grab some extra cigs. Hi! Not it then. Okie dokie. 
my pleasure. Completo! Okay! Leave it to me. As requested. But of course... Okie dokie. 